Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. So football is officially back. At the time of recording this video, it is Wednesday night. So for me, that would be tomorrow, but I'm not planning on posting this until Thursday morning. So for you guys, it could potentially be tonight, or if you're watching this later, then football's already started. So in light of the football season starting, I felt like it could be fun to predict the week one matchups, predict who I think is gonna win each game, because why not? predictions are fun and of course make sure to leave your opinions where you might agree with me where you might disagree with me and maybe this could turn into a weekly series where we predict each week's matchups uh, I thought that could be fun and you know what let's just enjoy our time with this so we're gonna be predicting each week one game let's just do this here we go we're gonna start off with the Cowboys and Buccaneers this is the season opener on Thursday night at 520 Pacific time wherever you are that might be a different time now this is one of those where it's kind of tough because, okay, the Buccaneers are definitely favored, right? But I feel like the defending champion on Thursday night, they don't always play as well as they're expected to. Maybe it's a little bit of a Super Bowl hangover. I don't know. I just feel like in years past, they don't play quite up to the Super Bowl level that they're expected to play. Definitely, I mean, I could definitely see the Buccaneers winning this game, but you know what? I'm going to go with some up upsets. I'm not just going to always go exactly how we're expected to pick, so I'm going to go with the Dallas Cowboys pulling off that upset in the matchup. I think Dak Prescott's got a lot to prove. I think the Buccaneers are going to have a really nice season, definitely be a contender, but I think they're going to start off slow with a little bit of a Super Bowl hangover. Why not? It's fun to pick some upsets here and there, so that's what I'm going to go with. Next, we have Seahawks and Colts. Um, this is a really good matchup because these are two teams that could potentially win their division. Two playoff teams, possibly or probably, I would say. And it's in Indianapolis. Carson Wentz should be good to go for week one. But you know what? I'm going to go with the Seahawks. I think their offense has made great improvements. They got a new offensive coordinator. I think DK Metcalf is only going to get better. Russell Wilson is going to continue to cook. And I don't think the Colts defense is going to be able to keep up. That should be a really good game, though. Close game and exciting between two good teams. Next, we have two not-so-good teams, the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Houston Texans. The Jaguars are my favorite team, but I'm going to try not to be too biased. But I feel like most people are going with the Jaguars in this game because the Texans are even worse than the Jags. I think Trevor Lawrence is going to have a very nice year. And, you know, maybe the Jags won't be as bad as people think, but I just think they're definitely better than the Texans. The Texans' defense is horrendous. The Texans as a team are not very good. They're going to be maybe the worst team in football, or at least one of the worst. I think the Jags win this game on the road, and I think it's going to be a nice debut for Trevor Lawrence. Next, we have the Eagles and Falcons, the Battle of the Birds. Neither team is expected to be too good this year, but I think the Eagles are expected to be even worse than the Falcons. I think the Falcons do have an exciting offense. I really like Kyle Pitts and Calvin Ridley's prospect for this upcoming season. I think Mike Davis is an improvement at running back, and it's an, it is in Atlanta, so I'm going to go with the Falcons to win somewhat of a close game, but uh, somewhat comfortably, I would say. I think they're going to win. Next, we have the Chargers and Washington football team, two teams that I think are definite sleepers. I think both of these teams could be contenders this year. The Washington football team has a really good defense. Chargers have a really good offense, so that should be a really good matchup. It's going to be a close game. I think it's going to be really exciting, but I'm going to go with the Chargers to win on the road in the nation's capital. Next, we have Steelers and Bills, another good game, two potential playoff teams. The Bills just coming off their AFC Championship game experience, uh, appearance. Uh, the Steelers did make the playoffs last year, did win their division, but they did decline at the end. It's in Buffalo, which is a very tough place to play. I really like Josh Allen, so I think the Bills are going to win this game, but that should be a good one. Next, we have a potential blowout game, and that's 49ers and Lions. Lions expected to be one of the worst teams in football this year. 49ers expected to be pretty good. That division, all four teams, I think, are going to be pretty good this year. So the 49ers, I think, win pretty comfortably in the Motor City there. Vikings and Bengals. I actually really like the Bengals' offense this year. I think Joe Burrow is going to have a great season. Uh, Jamar Chase... I think he's going to have a good rookie year. Um, they have Tyler Boyd. They have uh, T. Higgins. Uh, Joe Mixon's a really good running back. But their defense is so very bad. It's not good at all. I think the Bengals would let my grandma run for 100 yards against them. So I'm going to go with the Vikings because I think Dalvin Cook's going to run wild this game. And I also think the Vikings have an even better offense than the Bengals. Adam Thielen and especially Justin Jefferson make for a great receiver duo. Kirk Cousins, you know, he's, he's not bad. He's solid. Um, but I think for this game, he has enough weapons around him to win this game. So I think the Vikings are going to win. Jets and Panthers is our next game. Now, this is an interesting one because it's Sam Darnold against his former team. His first game as a non-Jet is against the Jets. I don't know if they did that on purpose or not, but it's interesting nonetheless. 
I'm going to go with a little bit of an upset. I'm going to go with the Jets. I don't think either team is expected to be that good this year. I don't. I think the Panthers have a really good offense with McCaffrey and Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore, who's really underrated, by the way. Pick him up in your fantasy leagues if you have that chance. Um, but I think the Jets are going to kind of come out with a little bit of excitement for the, the unfortunate Jets fans who have had to witness what they've put on the field in the last few years. I think they're going to have a nice win. Neither team's going to be that good, so it's a semi-upset. But uh, yeah, the Panthers' defense, I don't think is that good. I think Zach Wilson's going to have a good debut. So I'm going to go with the Jets in a, in a mini upset right there. Cardinals and Titans, another good game. Both teams, I think, have a good shot to maybe make the playoffs. Both really good offenses. Both not so good defenses, but this should be a very high scoring game. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the highest scoring game of the week. Um, I... I might go with another mini upset. I think the Titans are definitely going to be favored, but I'm going to go with the Cardinals. I think DeAndre Hopkins, Kyler Murray, they hook up for several nice passes. Um, I think AJ Green might catch some passes, have a nice debut, and I'm going to go with the Cardinals, but I think overall, I think the Titans are going to have a little bit better of a season. They're probably more likely to win their division. Next, we might have the game of the week, and that's Browns and Chiefs, two no doubt definite contenders when healthy. This upcoming season, I fully expect both of them to have a pretty good shot at winning the Super Bowl. So this is tough, but because it's an arrowhead, because it's in Kansas City, I'm going to go with the Chiefs, but I could see either team winning this game. I think it's going to be a close game, an exciting game. I think Odell Beckham is going to have a nice bounce back uh, year, considering that he tore his ACL last year and wasn't able to play much at all. Uh, so that's a good game, uh, maybe the game of the week, but I'm going to go with the Chiefs by a narrow margin. All right, next we have another good game, Dolphins and Patriots, two teams that have a decent shot at the playoffs, or at least from what we hear, uh, the, the odds makers do like these two teams to make the playoffs. The battle of young quarterbacks who have a lot to prove, Mac Jones for the Patriots, Tua Tagovailoa for the Dolphins. Uh, there's still a lot, to, like I said, a lot to prove for both quarterbacks. Pretty much a lot of unknowns because Tua didn't play much last year, and when he did, he wasn't that good. Mac Jones, though, he's had a great preseason, and I think he's going to have a very nice year. I think because Bill Belichick does so well against young quarterbacks, and it's in New England, it's in Foxborough, which is very tough to win. I think Mac Jones is going to have a better game than Tua, and I think the Patriots are going to win that game. Next, we have Broncos and Giants, a game I will not be watching <laughs> because um, we got two pretty solid defenses, but offenses... Mm -mm. Nope, nope, not a very good offensive game. Maybe the lowest scoring game of the week. Uh, I'll go with... Mm, I'm going to go with the Giants. I think, you know, because they're at home, it could really go either way. I'm going to go with the Giants. I think their offense is a little better than the Broncos. I think Daniel Jones will have a fine game. Maybe Saquon Barkley has a good game. I don't know. It's really a coin toss, but I'm going to go with the Giants because they're at home and just why not. All right, next we have a good game, Packers and Saints. Okay, it was supposed to be in the New Orleans Superdome, but of course, because of the recent hurricane, unfortunately, they are not able to play there. They're going to be playing in Jacksonville, home of my Jags. Uh, but, you know, the Saints, I don't think they'll be as good this year as last year. I think they'll still be a good team, but I think at this point in time, I think the Packers are a better team. The Saints' defense isn't as good as it was last year. I don't think it will be. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to have a very nice game. He's going to have a field day, in my opinion, and I think the Packers will win. Next, we have Bears and Rams. This is the Sunday night game, a very good matchup. I think, uh, well, pretty good matchup because the Bears offense, especially with Andy Dalton, I do think... It won't be the most watchable thing on earth, but I think because the Rams are at home, finally going to have fans there at SoFi Stadium. I think the Rams and Matthew Stafford are going to have a very nice week one and beat the Bears. Despite the Bears having a pretty good defense, it should be a pretty close game, but I think the Rams are going to win. Ravens and Raiders, this is the Monday night game. Now, normally we have two Monday night games in week one, but this week, or at least this year, I think we only have one for some reason. I don't know. They decided to change it. Who cares? It's all good. But, uh... Ravens and Raiders, I don't think the Raiders will be very good this year. I think the Ravens will be really good. I, I expect them to make the playoffs, potentially win that division. I think Lamar Jackson is going to run wild against the Raiders. Disgusting, can I say? Is that is that too mean? Disgusting? Not good defense? Really bad? I think the Raiders defense is going to do them in. This could be semi-high scoring, but the Ravens offense is just way too much for the Raiders defense. And the Raiders! are going to lose week one, and the Ravens are going to win week one. So guys, those are my week one projections. Uh, let me know, like I said, in the comments, who you think is going to win each matchup, where you agree with me, where you disagree with me. Just let me know, because I love debating and talking sports with any and all of you guys. But yeah, I'm really excited for week one, guys. I love when football season comes back. It's just a great excitement in the air. I hope you guys are going to enjoy week one as much as I'm going to enjoy it. It's going to be a great time, and I'm really looking forward to it, guys. So with that being said, that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you so much 
much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a great week one experience. Take care.